Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardis and joining me is Lead Investment Analyst Rafi Boyajian. We'll be discussing upcoming U.S. data and the outlook for the dollar. So Rafi, on Thursday, we'll get data on personal income consumption and PCE inflation. And on Friday, we'll get the latest jobs report. Forecasts suggest the data will be upbeat, showing confidence in the U.S. economy. But is there a chance that the Fed will tighten policy too aggressively this time? So Maria, as you said, we do have quite a bit of data coming up over the next couple of days. So looking at them very quickly, uh, we're expecting a slightly uh, smaller print uh, in the non-farm payrolls uh, figures on Friday. Uh, last month in February, we had 678,000. We're expecting gains of 490,000. Uh, nevertheless, that would be a pretty uh, healthy figure. And that should push the unemployment rate down from 3.8 to 3.7%. Uh, and we are also expecting to see a pickup in average weekly earnings to 5.5% year on year in March. Uh, so like you said, uh, on overall uh, strong numbers, uh, they're ex- expecting to maintain that trend. And for PC inflation, we are expecting another acceleration uh, in line with the CPI numbers we had early in the month. Uh, so for February, we're expecting a figure of 5.5% up from 5.2%. And as for personal consumption and spending, we're expecting a 0.5% gain in both of those uh, figures. So overall, the data is unlikely to significantly alter the policy outlook uh, for the Fed uh, because we're not expecting to see uh, any impact from the Ukraine crisis just yet. Uh, And I think uh, it's pretty clear that the Fed uh, is getting more serious about bringing inflation under control. Uh, We got that message from the FOMC meeting a couple of weeks ago, and we've also been getting uh, very hawkish signals from most policymakers that have spoken since, including Chair Powell himself. Uh, and the Fed seems to be acknowledging that it has fallen behind the inflation curve. So even though there's a lot of uncertainty around the outlook, say from six to 12 months from now, at the very least, the Fed has signaled that it will front load the rate hikes by moving in 50 basis point increments. This, though, has sparked some fear that the Fed could over-tighten, pushing the U.S. economy into recession. But we are unlikely to see um, anything worrying in the data just yet. As I said, it's possible, though, uh, if we do see any weakness, it could come from the ISM manufacturing PMI. That's also due Friday. Overall, though, uh, the U.S. economy is expected to remain strong for the time being. um, uh, And so we don't expect to see any deterioration just at this point. Do you think the dollar is likely to extend its impressive uptrend? Will this week's data matter much? Well, the US dollar had been boosted lately both from rising rate high ex- rate hike expectations as well as from the heightened geopolitical risks. But I think we've had most of the rate hikes priced in already. And so where the dollar goes from here, we'd like to depend more on the headlines coming out of Ukraine. So we saw the dollar sh- uh, fall sharply on the news that there's been some progress in the talks. For a ceasefire between Russia and Ukraine, should we get a further de-escalation, there could be additional losses for the greenback. At the same time, any setback could easily refuel the dollar rally. But looking at this slightly more longer term picture, there's a danger that investors have priced in too many rate hikes. And this means that should we start to see the growth data worsen, at say, or say over the next couple of months or so, or we get more substantial progress in the peace negotiations, There is a lot of room for a correction to the downside for the dollar. Rafi, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.